Hello there, everyone. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of these videos. They're all the rage lately, but these HUD, these heads up displays for the car, everyone's got a video of it. That dude in blue, Scotty Kilmer's got his video up on it. Why in the heck am I going to watch your video on a heads up display? Because Scotty Kilmer's already made one. Well, I'll tell you why. We're going to try and may fail to hook this thing up to an electric car because the electric car has no tachometer. There's a couple things about that, but we're gonna see what's it's, what it's even gonna read. Being an electric car, it's not gonna have a lot of the things that your normal internal combustion engine has. So it doesn't even have half the sensors that it's gonna be reading and communicating with. Also, are we gonna damage anything by putting this onto your OBD2 sensor? It's actually what you plug in to uh, flash the car or read certain data or read trouble codes. So the thing's on its way, let's check it out. I mean, come on, this is an electric car. A lot of this isn't gonna work, people. So here it is, this is what we're doing. I am, I am your guinea pig. OBD2 cable, a little anti-slip mat, some type of manual. That's gonna come in pretty handy. Another thing here. Wow, this is a complete kit. That's a micro USB cable. Uh, macro is the super small one. Car in question. 2016 Chevrolet, she Chevrolet Spark EV. Heck yeah. Fully electric. So we are going to see if we can plug in a heads up display to this already teched out vehicle. All right. All right, fam. Uh, a couple things I'm pretty sure is going to happen here is that the unit is going to power up. As you can see, everything should read backwards on here because you're going to be projecting it. That is our OBD2. Place this dongle. See? It did something. It's doing. Ooh. Whoa. Let's take this for a spin. This is the initial setup from the factory. I just plugged it in. This is first time. I am having a problem with it shutting off on me, but I figured that out later, and I'm going to show you how to delete that so that it stays on the whole entire time. Maybe it's just like slow to react, right? You gotta really like be in some type of RPM range to get the tank going. Let's go, baby, turn on. I don't know what that's all about, but. Yeah, see, no tack, hmm. I mean, not a lot of it works, but you get the overall effect, you know? You definitely do. Um, I mean, it's freaking Blade Runner, right? Uh, the blue colors with the white, I mean, the freaking RPM. I can't get the RPM to work, but the speed, Look at that, that was spot on for that second. It it looks like the it just takes a second for the gauge to possibly catch up. I, I think it's reading the right speed, but we're we can dial in those factors and see if we can get it even more uh, more dialed in. Um, but that's all we're getting. We are getting volts. We're getting volts from the 12 volt, 13 point, which is really cool. Half of it doesn't work, but what'd you expect? Electric cars don't have a lot of the sensors that internal combustion engines have. So a lot of these parameters, it's not going to pick up on and read. Um, I still wanted to get the tack working, even though it's a one speed electric car. I would still like to know where I am in that rev range, even, even though it is just one big rev range, I was told. Uh, another interesting thing is that it didn't hurt anything. I unplugged it. If you are getting an intermittent shutoff, I'm going to show you a l couple things you can do. There's a few menus. Uh, one menu is to go into its power on, power off setting and just 
turn that absolutely off. Another thing is if it reads 13.2 volts below that, it'll shut itself off. So go into that menu and just wipe that clean. Bring that value down to like 11 and then that will make sure that it doesn't shut off on you. Another thing, you can mess around with the hybrid and electric settings. There are settings for hybrid cars with the shut off on and off so it doesn't keep turning itself off. Uh, there's another display mode uh, that's menu number seven. That's another thing that will not shut off. It'll use the voltage to keep the thing on. Okay, so the first thing we're looking at here is this button right here. It's a three-way switch. You got vertically in, right, and left. Left changes all these parameters, which is RPM, um, some type of timer, the water temp, a clock, battery voltage. Um, I don't know what that is, and I don't know what that is. And the other one will change between down here, you've got your fuel consumption, and this is your voltage. And then from there, I think you can change some other things out. But for right now, what we want to do is press and hold this in. One, two, three, four, five. It'll turn to this. Now, this is the value. We don't want to look at this right now. We're looking at this. We're going to go to 18. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And these are all the parameters that we're getting to. Now, if you see, you go to 18, there's, you can go right or left. So, meaning you've got zero, normal car, one, gas electric, right? When you do that, once you've hit that, now we want to hold this back in again once we've selected the value of one. Just hold that back in, and it saves it. It saved everything, and now... You should have what's working in your electric vehicle. Now, what's going to work, I still don't know. So you can still play around with those things. You can go back to that menu. It says here, it's like tr some troubleshooting. If the speed doesn't work, screwing with this might be able to get the speed correct as well as the RPM. Um, so that we're going to figure out. So I hope this is fun for everyone. It works kind of, you'll get your speed, you'll get your battery voltage, and if you get anything else, let us know. Um, you can get these on eBay. You can get all different styles too, and colors. So get it to match what you're going for, and you'll get that real awesome Blade Runner effect going on. Give me a big old thumbs up if you like this. Hopefully this was entertaining for you. There wasn't too much information to be gleaned from it. But hey, what are you going to do? This is the internet and it's YouTube. All right, everyone. I'll see you soon. SVTWRC. Later, everyone.